Hello, and welcome to Datasar. Today I'm going to show you how to start building your website at connect.datasar.com. So the first thing you do is go to datasar.com, get logged in. We're already logged in, we're just going to click on the button, and that's going to take us to dashboard on the main menu. Let's get rid of that, we'll go full screen. So to work on your website, uh, to get started building your website, click on the website button. And these are the editing tools, post pages, templates, theme settings. We're going to go over all of these today. But um, real quickly, let me get out of full screen here. Real quickly, let's um, look at my other w website here. And this is um, the view if you've already registered a domain and you've created another website. So if you've clicked on this button right here, your screen's going to look like this. You don't have access to these buttons. What you need to do is you need to click on Edit Posts right here. And then it's going to take you to the Website Builder. So once again, if your screen looks like this, and you're trying to, get how, trying to figure out how to get to the Website Builder, click on this Edit button to the right of your domain right here. Just click on that. That's going to take you to the Website Builder. So let's go um, back to our other tutorial site. And we'll go back to full screen. And again, uh, here's the public preview URL. And then here's the, if you have a domain registered, it's going to show right here. And here's the website builder. So let's go ahead and view our website real quick. So when you register a domain, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see a welcome post. Your home page is actually blank. You're going to see a welcome post and then um, some contact information, your sign up for newsletter, and that sort of thing. So we're going to make a lot of adjustments. Let's go ahead and tab back over. And the first thing uh, that we want to do is we want to edit our home page. So we're going to go click on the Pages button right here. And then to edit the home page, the Home Index page, we're going to click on the Edit button right here. And as you can see, this is completely blank. Um, the first thing that we want to do down here is we're going to go ahead and uncheck Include Posts because we're going to create a blog post later. And also, there's a more options right here. So if you want your uh, page on the top and bottom menu, you can, you can click on that. We'll go back to less options. There's also a gallery section here. We're not going to really cover this too much, but if you click on the gallery section, you can create a quick little gallery there. But let's uncheck that. What we're going to do is we're going to edit the home page right here. So let me go ahead and grab some text. And I'm just going to go ahead and paste it in to save time. So let's um, go ahead and bring this down. And then this part here, we're going to center it. And how about bold, uh, 18 point. We'll do shift enter for a single line space. And then this here, we're going to go, whoops, that's already 14 point. So this here will go for the title, will go 18 point on the font. And then this, our sign up for newsletter. This was actually on our welcome post that we removed from the home page. So sign up for our newsletter below to receive informative updates, fun, fun trails, cool photos, and more. We adjusted that line just slightly. But um, so anyway, that's now what our home page looks like. And we're also going to add a featured image to our home page. So we're going to click, click choose. We already have it uploaded. We could upload it this way, but we already have it uploaded. So I'm going to go to my, my Images. And the one that we want to use is, we find it. Here it is, this one right here. And whenever you make adjustments, you're going to click Update. So we went ahead and updated our home page. And uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go back to the website button and this time we're going to choose templates or I'm sorry this time we're going to choose theme we're going to adjust the theme the look of our website so click on theme right now we're using the main theme you have a lot of different theme options to choose uh, for example we could pick Cosmo so we click on Cosmo Oops, choose theme right here. And then that automatically adjusts. You don't need to click update. So if we tab back over to our AAA Outdoor Scenes and we refresh the screen, 
uh, there it is. We have the home page that we added. We adjusted the theme. We've already adjusted the look of our website. Let's tab back over. Let's do one more theme. We're going to go ahead and choose Earth. And it automatically loads. We'll tab back over and we'll refresh the screen. And there's Earth. It gives it a totally different look. Let's tab back over. So we covered how to adjust your home page. We covered theme. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the settings button. If you don't want your address to show on your website, uh, you can edit this business information here. We're going to go ahead and leave ours. Uh, Actually, you can uncheck Include Business Address here if you like, if you don't even have to remove it here. And then also Include Newsletter Sign Up, you can check or uncheck that. And then to add social media, you do that right down here. So let's go ahead and we're going to add our Facebook. So I'm just going to copy and paste. So Control V. And there's our Facebook link for Datazar. We're just going to go ahead and add that. And let's go ahead and click update on this. Well, one other thing we're going to do here, we're going to add a logo. So let's go ahead and go choose. And again, we already have it uploaded. So we're going to go to my images and we're going to pick this one right here. Use. And you can see that we added the logo here. So let's go ahead and update that. And so we covered the theme, the settings and Let's go ahead and um, let's go back to our AAA outdoor scenes, uh, control tab, and we'll refresh one more time real quickly here. And you can see that we added the logo and uh, we left our business address on there. So let's go ahead and go back to connect. And the next thing we want to do is we want to go to the templates button. And what we're going to do here is we're going to create a blog. So you, you can choose any of these. These are page templates. You can choose any of these. We're going to click on blog. So we're going to add a blog page just by clicking this plus sign right here. And then on the blog, it says welcome to our blog. Um, we're going to leave include posts checked. So the blog is going to have our posts and we're just going to switch out this image here. So you click on the image, click on the insert edit image icon here. This is for adjusting any page too. You can do the same thing. And then I'm um, going to go ahead We're going to go to my images. And we're going to go ahead and use this picture here. Okay. And then let's go ahead and do a featured image as well. We're going to go to My Images. And we're going to use the other upper Yosemite picture here. Okay, so um, that looks pretty good. And let's go ahead and click on the Create button right here to create the blog page. Okay, so we, we created the uh, blog using the templates right here. And then now we're going to also, we're going to create a post. Um, we're going to go to posts right here. And this is the welcome post that comes with your website. Now we removed this line. We added it to our home page. So what we're going to do actually today is we're just going to edit this welcome post. We could create a new post right here, or we can edit our existing post. We're going to go ahead and edit our existing post, but it works the same as far as the editing tools. And let's go ahead. We're going to replace these words here with beautiful El Cajon Mountain, San Diego, California. So let's center that. And we're going to go, let's say, 18 point. And the blog post title, let's just do El Cajon Mountain. And then we're going to add a featured image. So um, let's go ahead and choose my images again. We have these preloaded. And let's find El Cajon Mountain. Let's go ahead and use this one right here. It's our featured image. And then down here, that loaded right there. Then down here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to 
do again shift in or just a single space. We're going to do one more image. Click the up arrow. Click on my images. I know I'm going through this pretty quickly, but we're doing it repetitively, so um, you ought to be able to see it. And then the other picture that I want to use is this one right here of El Cajon Mountain. So let's go ahead and click OK. And there it is. So we created a post of El Cajon Mountain. We actually updated our, our welcome post. Let's go ahead and click Update. Now that's going to show on our blog page when we get back to that. And then let's go back to the Pages button right here. And the next thing we want to do is I'm going to go ahead and create an About page. So we're going to create a blank page here. Let me go back because I did that pretty quick. So go to Pages. And then to create a new page, you're going to go up, click on Create Blank Page right here. And then you're going to scroll down to the editing box here. And I'm just going to grab some words to save time. We're going to go ahead and paste this in. So let's go ahead and center this. And let's make it 18 point. So we put a head headline on our About page. And then just you would go ahead and you would say something about your company. You would, uh, you know, maybe have a mission statement, something like that right here. But we're going to go ahead and um, on this one, we're just going to do a featured image. Let's choose a featured image. Again, we're going to go to My Images here. And the one that we're going to choose is this one right here. It's this guy on top of a clip. So... Let's go ahead. We're just going to keep it simple. We're going to go ahead and create the uh, About page. And a title must be oops, required. So let's go ahead and get the title. And it's going to be About. So now we're, we're going to scroll down. We're going to click Create. And we went ahead and created that. Now, actually, there is a page template here on the Templates button where we could have created an About page, About Us page. But we elected to do it by using the Pages button and then creating it that way. And uh, the next thing we want to do is I'm going to visit the content button real quickly. If you want to add pictures to your content, um, on the main menu, click on the content button, and then you're going to upload images. So you can click on Choose Files. And then you're going to find the file. So we're going to go here, here. Um, and then we're going to go to here, and let's just upload this cow picture right here. I'm not even sure which one it is, but that looks like a cool picture. Once you see the green check mark, then you know that that image is loaded into my images, and it's just loading right here, but it's in there. So, um, go to my files, my images. And there it is right there. Okay, so let's go back to the website button. And then one other thing I want to show you is on pages. I want to go to the bottom menu. We have the Contact Us page that comes loaded with every website. We're just going to edit this real quick. This is the Contact Us page. There's a contact form right there. We're just going to add one sentence to above the contact form. So you just go here, do Shift Enter, bring your cursor up. We're going to Put in some words, drop us a line, we'd love to hear from you. Let's go ahead and bold that. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and update the contact page. And I'll show you that in just a second. Uh, one other thing I want to mention is if we go back to the settings right here, you can have your website name, AAA Outdoor Scenes. You want to make sure that your website name matches the name on Manage Account. So we're on the Website button. If you go to the Manage Accounts button right here, you can also add a user right here. So if you want to share and add a user, you can do that. But make sure that your website name also matches right here. Because when somebody signs up for your newsletter, they're going um, to receive an opt-in confirmation based on the business name. So it's best that the business name here matches the name of your website. So let's go back to the website button here, and let's go ahead and go back to our website. We're going to go ahead and refresh the website, and we're going to view the changes that we made. 
So now we have the home page. We added the blog right here. And you can see that our blog post right here is attached to our blog page because we had the blog post checked. So we go to read more. And then there's the blog post. Welcome to beautiful El Cajon Mountain. And we also added um, social media um, to our website. I'm going to show it on a different view, though. Let's go ahead and go to the blog page first. This is the blog page. This is the about page that we created. This is the home page that we adjusted. Uh, we could have included some photos and things inside of our home page. But let's go ahead and tab back over. Let's go back to theme. And let's go ahead and go back to Cosmo. Let's choose this theme again. And again, let's go back to our website. That automatically loads. You don't have to update. We're going to tab back over. We're going to refresh the website. And there it gives it a different look. And there's our Facebook that we added to. So we added the Facebook link there. So we have the home page, the blog page, the about page, the Facebook. Down here, we could have removed this if we wanted to. We could remove this in the settings like we went over. There's the Contact Us page that we uh, adjusted. Drop us a line. We'd love to hear from you. So go back to Home Page. Go back to Connect. And then one other thing that I want to show you is the Help button right here. If you need any assistance, make sure you go to the Feature Tutorial videos. This video is going to be updated on our Feature Tutorial videos. Um, there's also the Help Center. If you click on that, that's going to take you to our Help Center um, help.datasar.com where you can answer, answer a lot of questions. To go to all of our tutorial videos, click on this and search um, keywords for videos. So um, the help button is also very useful. So let's go ahead and go back to the dashboard. And that's it. That's how to start building your website with Datasar Connect.